Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's try to fix a Baofeng charger. Uh, my radio is UV5R. I don't know if this also fits some other chargers but uh, or radios, but the problem is that unlike some, some other same kind of chargers like this one, which I have for my hunting radios, which accepts 12 volts, or the Anytone TMR charger, which accepts 12 volts, this idiot for a charger only accepts 10 volts and actually when you plug it in your car with a cable which is intended for, for these guys, uh, this burns. Okay, but anyway, so what did I do? First I of course was wondering what's wrong, but then uh, I noticed that yes, basically it was badly burned. You can actually, <laughs> you can smell it and you can see it inside here. So what you do is you just pry this thing open by using screwdriver or something like that to get the bottom off. Then in here you do have the input here. Uh, it doesn't have this, this electrolytic condensator there, but it has a slightly longer, longer PCB there, which is only attached by this one little screw. So I took that screw off and then I basically just cut off with a saw very gently of course uh, the the other end of of the PCB so I was able to have this little gadget here. Now this is a circuit board which I bought from AliExpress uh, which can be used for charging uh, lithium batteries with uh, you know one or two cells. Uh, you just have to make in here to this set you have to solder a jumper there to make it two cells. Remember uh, Baofeng has two cell uh, battery. So without jumper it only it basically it, it defaults to 3.7 volts while you won't have 7.4 volt battery in there. But other than that it's actually very very simple. So what I did here is I took the negative power with a jumper wire here voltage in minus. I took the plus here uh, to voltage in plus. Well, what else? And then uh, I took these wires are actually the, these I took from my own stash, the, the, the black and black and red ones. But uh, these thinner ones I just desoldered from the original board and then I put them to battery plus and battery minus. As you can see in here battery plus is on this side here which is battery plus. Uh, another neat thing is that this this doesn't come with the, the, the two color diode but actually you can take it off from from here and uh, at least in, in my unit the longer lead, lead, lead I mean longer wire uh, lead was the green one. So to the charge side you put the shortest of the three, uh, three wires. I guess it, you, can, you can probably even see it here somehow. Yeah, that's the way you do it. Anyway, so let's see if it works. And actually, yes, it does work. This is not very handy with only one hand free, but let's see how I manage. So now it's green, and uh, for some reason it's kind of blinking red, as you can see to some extent. And now, if I put my radio in there, it should go from green to red and voila. Yes it does. Okay, so not very complicated uh, as long as you can get one of those piece of neat PCBs from AliExpress. I'll put the product code into the into the description below this video. Costs 79 euro cents, so I actually bought a couple of them and some other electronics for any future products. Got a little bit inspired, uh, which my wife, of course, hates, but well, that's the way it is.
Uh, I also, just for the fun of it, I took this uh, 22 microfarad condensator uh, off this, you know, off this old, old piece to make a little bit of more, just a little bit of more uh, filtering in the input. Uh, and this is just a piece of, of insulating tape to cover it. Anyway, now it's time to put some, uh, you know, hot glue in there to put these in place and I'll show how it looks afterwards. Now don't we all just love hot glue, uh, especially when we're applying it, not if you need to dismantle something. So a little bit of there, a little bit to the color of the LED and here we go. I also uh, put some to keep that capacitor in its place. Now we just close the lid and here we go. Good. And I'd say it's better than new because now it accepts voltages up to 17 volts. They recommend max 12, but anyway, I think it's no safe to use in my car.